Hi, and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. Um, usually I do ribbon sculpture tutorials. Sorry, my light fell over back here. Uh, what is wrong? Oh, anyway, usually I do ribbon sculpture um, tutorials, but today I'm going to show you how to make the um, folded ribbon pointed flower. Since it's coming up on springtime, these are so cute and easy to make. So I'm going to show you all how to make these. Uh, you are going to use a needle and thread for these, not just hot glue. So you'll need a needle and um, a length of thread. You know, it's so long just to put the um, ribbon on. Anyway, I'm going to show you all how to make this. And um, you attach them to um, alligator clips. Uh, let's start with your supplies. You're going to need um, 7 8 inch ribbon. It can be satin or grow grain. It doesn't matter which. Um, and you're going to need 2 inch pieces like this. And you're either going to need 5 or 6 of them. Now if you're using satin ribbon, usually satin ribbon you, you can get away with doing 6 like this one. Okay, but if you're using grow grain, the ridges in it are make make it a little thicker. So whenever we pull the edge to make the petal, um, sometimes you can only fit five around. And this is one made with grow grain right here. And I'll also show y'all how to make the little leaf if you want to make leaves for your star flowers. But this one's grow grain ribbon, and it has the um, five petals. This is satin ribbon with six petals. Okay, so you're going to need that, and you're going to need a lined alligator clip or headbands or pins or whatever you want to put it on. Okay, and you need a decoration for the center. So you just find something that you want to put in the center. These, this is a little button. I got these little buttons that you can use. Get them at the craft store, or I actually have mine. I buy them from a manufacturer on um, eBay in uh, China or Taiwan or something that they are imported in and they're really really cheap <coughs> to buy that way but I need a bunch of them so if you're just making a few ribbons you can buy them from the craft store just little buttons or like this was just flat backed it wasn't a button just or jewels you can use anything that you want to put in the center all right and um, then for the leaf, you're going to need 7 8 inch ribbon, either satin or grow grain, and it's going to be a 4 inch piece like this. Okay? So, on the one that I'm going to show you today, get this out of the way. I'm just going to make a direct copy of this one because I always make two of these, one for each side. So you're going to need a lighter, especially to um, make the leaf. That's, that's where you're going to really need the lighter. But you do need your source of fire to um, heat seal the edges. So you just heat seal along the edges. I've already done it on these. Okay, let me just make, double sure that this is going to be clear. At the level I'm working at. There. Okay. So, these are some examples of the ones that I've made. This one's with some pink chevron ribbon and a little pink sparkly skull and crossbones. And then I've done the yellow ribbon with a bee. A pink ribbon with a bee. And you saw the star flower with the smiley, and then the plaid ribbon with a cherry and a green clip. So you're going to need a lined alligator clip um, if you're going to use one of those in just a contrasting color. So anyway, let's get started. So you want to heat seal all those edges, okay? And the way we make the flower is you take your needle and thread, okay? Yeah, I know this is white thread and a white background, but I'm going to show you up close. So, if you've got a pattern ribbon like this, alright, or the shiny side or whatever, you want to turn it downward, okay? 
so that the bottom is down. And then you just take the piece of ribbon and you fold it at an angle like that, about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. Okay, and then you take this edge and bring it up to this edge. So you're going to take the whole thing and fold it again. And that makes that point right there. Okay, so again, that's printed side down. You can hold it straight up and down like this. Fold it in half like that. Okay, then the whole thing, including that edge, just bring this corner up to this corner and match up that end right there and that makes the shape. So then you take and hold it with the printed side up and you take your needle all right, and you go in, make sure y'all can see this, you go in close to the edge right here, just a little bit down close to the edge. You take and push the needle in okay and then bring it up okay so that was down up and then you're gonna do that one more time down and then up close to this other edge over here so basically we've just made sure that it's like that that you can see the needle in the center right here because when we pull this it's going to make the petal. Okay? So you just take that and you can see whenever you pinch it shut that it makes the petal. Like that. So just take this all the way to the end of your thread. Okay? My thread is not even. Okay. Take that all the way to the end where the knot is and just give it a pinch up like a petal. Okay? And then you can just lay that down and do the same thing. Print side down, fold sideways, and then fold up to match up the edges. Okay. And then down at the edge, up, across the center, down and up like that. Now you take that one and push it all the way to the end down there get it straight and you can pinch them together and you can already see it forming a flower all right so just keep on doing that okay and if you don't quite get it right, just unfold it and try that fold again. You'll get the hang of it. Y'all don't even want to see what my first attempt at this looked like. Oh, I can't pick up my needle. The whole flower was crooked. I'll actually show it to you. I've got it right over here. Be careful with the needle. I did prick my finger and I bled all over the ribbon on one and I had to start over. <laughs> so anyway, take the third one all the way to the end and pinch it up right next to that one. And there's three. Okay. Y'all have got the hang of this folding area. You can fast forward the tape. I'm not going to bother to stop it because I'm going to show y'all how to make it from start to finish. That's what they invented the fast forward button for. There's a petal. Push it all the way to the end. 
and squeeze it up against the other one. Okay. Two more to go. And you'll get the hang of this and be able to do these faster. get pulled too tight you can just loosen them up because we're going to pull the whole thing back here in a minute so there's a five point and if you're using um grow grain this will be really tight in here excuse me and ready to um do as a five point but with satin ribbon i like to do a six point else to pick it up with. Okay. So once you get them all threaded on there, the way they should be, alright, you'll see your flower outline. Okay, then you want to grab this knot down here where this was and pull the whole thing up to where you're even right there. Now you can cut the needle off just snip it off close and then knot that end just like you knotted the other end. Okay, now you can lay the petal down facing downward and just take these two threads right here and tie them in a knot, okay, and just pull that tight, and you'll see how it just turned into a flower. So if you pull it tight, okay, just tie a knot on the back, just let it go up under your finger right there, and always double the knot just to make sure it's holding right, okay, cut off the extra thread okay and you've got a flower now you can kinda you know straighten them out you didn't want to pull it like super tight or anything you want it to look like a flower the hole in the middle doesn't matter because of that like I said my first attempt looked like that <laughs> because I pulled it too tight and I was using too long pieces anyway two inches of ribbon works great I'm going to throw that away. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a flower. Okay. Now you take your um, button. And you can glue it. And also, too, if you... Right there, where we tied the knot. Okay, sometimes you'll have a little gap in the petals. Alright. You can take and just put a touch. And I seriously mean just a touch. Not even a, a blob of glue. Just a touch of it. That's way too much. Just a touch in there. Okay. And then take some tweezers and pinch those two petals together. And that'll help close up that gap. That's if you're really a perfectionist with your flowers like I am. Y'all know that I'm a perfectionist by now. And just pinch the folds together to do that. But anyway, let's put that in the middle. Just take and put some glue around it down in the hole a little bit. If it's a button, stick the the loop down the hole. And if not, just stick it on there, right in the middle. And there's the flower. And once you get that glue on there, that'll really stabilize these petals too. That way you can give them good tugs, get them straightened out, however you like. Okay? So that's the flower. That was really, really simple, really quick and easy. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make the leaf if you want a leaf. 
So if you want the leaf, you'll take a piece of ribbon and if it's printed or satin like this, like with half shiny satin, you're going to want to put the two pieces of the shiny uh, together. So you want it, the, this is the shiny side of this piece of satin and you want to put it together. So this is a four inch piece of seven eighths inch ribbon. I did not heat seal the ends yet. You fold it in half like this. Okay. And then in this upper corner right here, this is like kanzashi. You're going to want to take your lighter, be very careful not to burn yourself, and heat up that corner and then give it a pinch so that it sticks. That melted those two pieces together in that corner right there. Alright. Now you can put a crease in the bottom of it right here and you want to hold it on the bottom because we're not going to cut from the very end right here. We're going to leave some space right here. You're going to cut from just about your thumb links up at an angle up to that corner up there. So just cut that off at an angle. Now the angle that we just cut, we're going to take the lighter all the way down that heat sealing it and pinching it as we go. Carefully not to burn yourself. It's kind of impossible when you're doing this trick. Not to feel the warmth in your fingers. You just get it hot. Especially with, grow grain is especially tough to do this with. You have to really, really heat it. Satin melts easier and smoother. All the way down to that point right there where we were. Okay, Just make sure it's good and sealed. Okay, and then when you open this back part, there's the leaf right there. So what you're going to do is, is take this end right here and fold it inside out like that. Fold it around. Okay, that's the part right there where it's all melted together. And when you fold it around, you've got a leaf. So you can take back here put some glue down in there okay flatten it out glue it down and that's a kanzashi leaf and you would glue that to the back I had no matching green ribbon so I used aqua we're gonna pretend like it's green and it matches that piece right there and you just glue it to the back so that is how you would do the leaf and the flower and thank you so much for watching um, if you want to size up or down with ribbon okay um, I also used some 5 8 inch ribbon on this one and you see how much smaller it made it with the 5 8 inch ribbon okay as compared to the 7 8 inch ribbon and with the 5 8 inch ribbon, you're going to want to use one and a half inch pieces and you're going to need eight of them. But that's all that I've done for size measurements so far. Um, so you'll just have to play around with um, the sizes if you're going to use ribbon that's fatter or skinnier. So if it's um, 7 8 inch ribbon, you're going to use one and a half inch pieces and you're going to use eight of them to make a flower. If you're using 7 8 inch ribbon, you're going to need two inch pieces and you're going to need five or six of them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this um, tutorial and I will have some more ribbon sculpture tutorial coming for y'all soon. Thank you so much.